as we end the year and go into 2023, here is my recommendation for a minimalist home gym setup with just dumbbells and your body weight. So getting right into it, you of course will need a pair of dumbbells and my top recommendation for anyone just starting out is going to be the Core Fitness Adjustable Dumbbells. This is a very simple to use pair of adjustable dumbbells that range from 5 to 50 pounds by just turning the handle left or right. And these have become my number one dumbbell recommendation because I've used them for more than five years and they have not broken or had any replacements in that time. They have some dust on them, maybe a little wear and tear, but other than that, they work just as expected. Now maybe you are more advanced, and if that is you, I recommend looking into the Nuo Bells, as these can go up to 80 pounds, but use the same simple design where you just turn the handle in order to change the weights by five pounds. Now I did buy a set myself, so I have the Nuo Bells that go up to 80, mainly used for some of the bigger lifts such as squats, Romanian deadlifts, bench press, things of that nature where I can push or pull a decent amount of weight. Now I did buy a pair of Newell Bells myself from the website SMRTFT and I know these aren't a fake as I did get the actual product sent over to me. And again, it is very, very easy to use. The exact same thing as the Core Fitness Dumbbells. They are a higher price though and they don't fit in the Hyperbell or Easy Curl Bar clamp attachments. So that would probably be my major cons here. But other than that, they work just fine. Now my next piece of home equipment is going to be an adjustable bench. And depending on whether you want to work out on a door frame or on a freestanding device, here are my recommendations. Now the first bench is for those who don't want to use their doorway to do pull-ups. So if that's the case, the bench I recommend you take a look into is the Iron Master Super Bench Pro. They also have a version two that just launched, but no, I only have the version one. And if you choose this one, definitely get the pull-up bar attachment that comes with it. It is pretty bulky in size, but again, allows you to connect it into the bench itself and do pull-ups straight from there. That way you're not doing them on a door frame. Now this bench also has many other attachments, but the only one I personally recommend is just the pull-up bar one, but take a look at the website to see if you wanna get anything else for your home gym. And the bench itself is very well built. It's actually my favorite overall bench that I've ever used in terms of quality, can hold a lot of weight, and of course has those additional attachments. So you get everything in pretty much a small package. It is a bit higher in cost than the other benches, but no, you get all these other things you can do with it. And being such a high quality bench, it's something I do highly recommend. And now let's take a look at option number two. And this is for those who don't mind using or want to use their door frame as the way to do their pull-ups. And the bench I would choose is the Flybird adjustable weight bench that has the red trimming around the edges. This bench is good overall and does cost quite a bit less. However, you don't get the additional attachments like the Iron Master has, so just know it is only an adjustable bench. And know that on a rug surface, it does have a little bit of wiggle to it, so just watch out for that and make sure you are sturdy before doing any of the actual exercises. So if you did choose the second option, I recommend you take a look at the Cross Grips by JFlex. These are two spring-loaded handles that you put on the top of your door. The only spring thing is just bringing them close together, but from there it just lays flat on your door frame, allowing you to do overhead pulling movements. Just make sure if you do go this route that you test out your door frame's integrity first. You don't want it breaking and crashing to the ground. For me, it holds me just perfectly fine. I'm about 185 pounds, holds me without any issues, but just know, depending on the house build that you have and your door frames, you want to make sure those are in place secure before using something like this. And now onto our next item, and it's going to be the Lieber Fitness Equalizers Dip Bar Station. Now, I personally have the XL Signature Edition, which is the most expensive, but depending on your height, you might go with a different one. I'm five feet, 11 inches tall, so the XL is the one that works best for me, but just know based on your height, you may need a smaller one. And the primary exercises I use for this are going to be dips and inverted rows, where dips is my big main concern, but inverted rows are in there as well. And no, I do have the dip bar attachment that goes with the Iron Master Bench, so remember that has additional attachments, However, it does lock you into the width with that one, so it actually feels a little too wide for me, making it so my shoulders get a little bit 
of just weird sensation and almost, it's not like pain, but it's just, I don't like doing it, being locked in like that. But the Libra Fitness equalizers allow you to change the width because they are both separate pieces. So you can pick the width you want and then do the dips that way. And it's mainly why I recommend that as a separate thing than buying the dip bars that come with the bench as you can't do inverted rows either with the bench version. So in the end, it will come down to many factors on which ones you pick. Mainly the first one would be, I'd say, money, and of course your strength and skill with an exercise, room availability to put things away. All that will be a factor in picking the ones you want, but here is the setup I think you should go with, and then just pick options one or two from there. And once you have all that, take a look at this workout program you can use with this equipment in order to build some muscle from the comfort of home.